I've seen a lot of debate on the internet lately as to whether something is, uh, whether someone is racist or they're mentally ill, right? Huh. As if they aren't the same fucking things. <laughs> like, way to split hairs, people. Uh, I don't think anyone's ever heard a Klansman say something like, that guy seems really together. Like, no. <laughs> no. He could start off with the most sensible shit ever, too. Like, <laughs> like you know, yeah. make make sure you're getting at least eight hours of sleep a night. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, really, I mean, beside from like, feeling tired, you know, you're also going to get sick easier. It fucks with your immune system. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, right? uh -huh. By the way, fuck the Jews. <laughs> 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 Seriously, man? I, I, fuck you, dude. I'm sleeping two hours a night for the rest of my life, you piece of shit. <laughs> so dumb, man. It's ridiculous. I mean, speaking of race, I'm tired of the internet telling me how to feel about shit. Okay? saw an article that read, here's why, as a person of color, you should be upset about cultural appropriation. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you're right. You're right with all the unarmed black men getting shot by the police. I'm also supposed to be pissed off about white dudes with dreadlocks. That's a good deal. <laughs> Give a fuck. Besides, man, like, I've met a lot of cool white dudes with dreadlocks, man. I'm not going to lie. If it weren't for those guys, I wouldn't have ne I would have never had good weed in college. <laughs> I've been to a slightly stupid concert, okay? <laughs> it's fun as fuck. <laughs> Played hacky sack and shit. <laughs> <coughs> Got high enough to the point of being like, I get it, bro, I get it, dude. It's just fucking, it just makes you guys feel fucking, like, united, you know? It makes you feel as one. Like, I mean... <laughs> I mean, we are just kicking around a piece of yarn with sand in it to do some shit that's that lame. You got to be cool with each other, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, man. I don't think uh, I don't think there's a single family right now who's like had a relative deported sitting around a table going, "Man, fuck ice." And you know what else, bro? I saw white people. And they were making tacos, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't put cilantro or nothing. <laughs> it was fucked up. It's like I highly doubt people that are actually going through shit are worried about bullshit like white people making tacos, man. <laughs> that's, the, that's the fucking most ridiculous form of white guilt ever. It's like, should I be cooking this? I don't know. It's got flavor to it. Should we, can, we do, <laughs> can we do this? It's fucking out of control, man. I feel like the PC shit is out of control in general. I feel like we're just taking it way overboard, man. Uh, I saw this guy post, uh, here's why as a male feminist, I think Valentine's Day is bullshit. <laughs> it's just an excuse for dudes to buy girl stuff just so they can try to fuck a man. <laughs> <laughs> Way to dehumanize women, fellas. <laughs> Sad face emoji. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, dude, if that's not a pussy Hail Mary if I've ever seen one. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't a, that's a weird way to put it, right? Dehumanizing women? Is that what we're doing? Having sex with a woman... Is dehumanizing to her? Is that is that how we're saying it now? Like I don't know about you guys, but I only fuck humans, man. Like that's, <laughs> that's all I fuck. All I fuck is humans. That's it. Like that's it's exclusive, man. Uh, that ain't like it, it's crazy because if you think about it, like if you're not careful, you can make a whole new human. <laughs> Maybe we should call it rehumanizing. <laughs> a lot more logical. <laughs> hey, when people try to get the moral high ground on you, make what you say about them, you know? I was at a bar with my friends, we were talking about movies, and I was like, yeah, I've seen that movie. It was fucking retarded, man. <laughs> I didn't mean anything by it. I'm obviously not making fun of people that are developing.
mentally challenged, right? No, I was just talking about how fucking retarded that movie was. Like a wasted 850, man. The guy turns around and he's like, hey, bro, these are his exact words. This is a true story, okay? Can you put that caption up at the bottom of the screen when you. <laughs> no, it's, here. it's a true story. No bullshit. Word for word. This guy goes, hey, bro, you can't say that word here. <laughs> My daughter died from being retarded. Like, well, first off, congratulations on being able to say that with a straight face, sir. <laughs> Second off, maybe you should learn how to word a fucking sentence better. <laughs> I'm way too high for this, dude. <laughs> Now I'm thinking your daughter was like running late for school and decided to make her pop tarts while she was in the bathtub, you know? Then <laughs> 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 walk in and then. You know what's funny? I'm about to make a joke about a kid getting electrocuted and I was like, ah, oh, you're both Yeah, right. <laughs> They walk into the bathroom and find her floating in the tub and here. shit. <laughs> for a woman. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> the husband walks in and he's like, God damn it, honey. Well, she was being retarded. Now she's dead. Like, who's gonna, did he say that to himself? It looks like we gotta rehumanize now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna close this bitch out with a song. You guys have been dope yeah. so far. Yeah. 